Nikki entered 17, or sorry, he entered 18 tournaments. He won 17 of the 18 he entered, playing only Ice Climbers. Did not touch him, touched Fox once. Huh. So he is a full on Ice's main. And as I've said that, he is not playing Ice Climbers. Yeah, we got a Fox Sheik Ditto again. Uh. That, you're kind of noticing a theme. Fox Sheik is really strong in, yes. in 2 versus 2. If a guy who's been playing Ices for the last like three years is not picking Ices in teams, I think that says more than anything I ever could about the state of the character in this game. Though. It certainly speaks for itself. But it looks like Aklo has so graciously given us his tag again so we understand who's on who. What if that's Nikki? It would be something he'd do. If you've seen his Twitter, he would definitely yeah, do that. Yeah, well, luckily for us, we've seen like three Aklo sets already, so we're good. Um, but on the other side, Bonfire. I haven't seen Bonfire play, but she's been active. Bonfire? So Bonfire 10 has... It's really interesting, I think, because Bonfire 10 is a player who, if you followed her throughout the years, does amazing into floaties, horrendous response. In general, I'm, a, I'm not supposed to say something like that, a villain or whatever. But she lost to a Fox in round one pools at Genesis, and then has not lost a New England event out of the last like five big regionals who's attended. Respect, because there are one, good yeah, players there. There are very good players there. Does really well into Calvar, really well into Beckton. Beats the Foxes there too now. And she is like one great tournament away from an incredible breakout. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. We'll see. But Aklo and Foxy Grandpa tend to make the teams run a bit more. But they're actually down right now. Not by much, but slightly. Yeah, Bond Bonfire Ten's always been a very strong player in doubles, too. She used to enter a bunch of events with Artie as a static teams partner. Oh, uh, I remember that. Peach player, who now is a co-owner of Hall of Gaming in Connecticut. Really? Like the Connecticut, yeah, the Connecticut local. He is one of the owners of it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. I remember Hall of Gaming. Yeah. Shouts to Vendi, shouts to Artie. I don't know why he's not here. But uh, yeah, Bonfire 10, a very strong player in teams too. So. We're about to see on this Legend Tour action here. The down smash is going to be clean, but runs That's into Aklo's Such hits. Fox privilege. The ending, like the end of Fox's up smash hit Bonfire trying to dash in. That is disgusting. I hit yeah. Fox so long. <laughs> yeah, not much to say there. Instant Needle not going to catch it, but the pop-up neutral there from Fox and Grandpa is going to. And that's another stock down for Nikki. I, mean, I don't know. Bonfire's doing a good job holding down the stocks, but it is still not holding a candle to what uh, Red Team is accomplishing right now. But that's a start. I love Aklo just sitting on the ledge waiting for the invincibility to time out. <laughs> oh, oh, great save. save. Still gets the kill. Yeah, Foxy Grandpa did everything possible to try and prevent that, but... You gotta respect clean teams play. Still worked out in the end. Dead even game aside from the percent of on Fox, by the way, for green. Nikki really has to play in the back foot here. Oh, gets a great opening on Aklo and doesn't overextend. He knows that, uh, what is it, Foxy Grandpa could just punish him in the air and potentially set him to his death. Lots of hitboxes flying out. Uh, these kinds of trades aren't ideal for those that are high percent. You can just accidentally get KO'd from any stray hit. It's a lot of counter hits. I feel like we're not seeing any big combos. It's just like one stray hit, and then the teammate covers the move, and you can't really get anything huge. Uh, this is actually oh, really bad, because this could stagger. Not yeah. great DI. Bonfire's down here. That's going to be a 2v1 that Nikki has to try and accomplish. And he can do it. He's a really... Uh -oh. What? Blunder. What is happening? The back air lingering long enough to hit Aqua trying to cover, that's so funny. Put me down! <laughs> Help! Okay, we've got a chain grab. If this ever gets dropped, you have needles. There's the forward there. Oh, oh, and... all the needles, but goes right into Aqua's loving foot. And that will do it! What a buzz kill. There was and a Nikki sick opening out. there off that one blunder. Uh, sadly, there wasn't enough to be done, but it was a nice turnaround by Aklo and Foxy Grandpa. Uh, Foxy Grandpa charges with the needle, sees the fox chain grab, goes, you know what, I'm going to sit back. This, my brother's pretty good at this game. Throw him out. And uh, clean. I like how they're too. whispering. I, I feel like a lot of the times teams talk and they just, they're just talking to one another. Like, Nikki and Bonfire are talking to each other there, but Foxy, he's whispering in Aklo's ear. My secrets will not be revealed. I'm not letting those people near our secretive top level teams tech what do you think they're whispering just teams like characters uh, don't stages? grab me or i'm giving you a swirly when we get home and so he would do that 
They banter on Twitter a lot, and it's really funny. Not as much as I'd like, but uh, enough. We're back on FD. So, I think this is <laughs> really, really good for, um, for Aklo and Fox's grandpa. Talk up. Because I feel like the way that they play these are a lot more traditional, especially on FD. Like the front to back and just kind of like try to try to break the game into 1v1s is not necessarily what they want to do. But Foxy is really good when Aklo does get into the 1v1 on two sides of the stage, like right here. Even if Foxy Grandpa is, is paired against someone that he's not comfortable against, he's really good at just playing defensively and waiting for Aklo to actually better player on the other side. So uh, both terms of gameplay are good, and Final Destination is a lot of fun. So I, I feel like it kind of complements the team well. Mm -hmm. I love uh, the trading uh, full hop yeah. there. Or landing there, sorry. A Foxy Spark. Easy early percent, but Bonfire actually didn't see that uh, that tech up smash and wasn't able to uh, bring the percent lead up a little bit higher. But it's fine. Stuck in the shield right now, though. And on the back foot. Siaklo's going to do all this pressure, and Fox Grandpa just throwing stuff out at Nikki. Just throwing out forward tilts. Hey, I'm going to catch any any tr attempt to save your teammate while, and it worked while out. my uh, teammate goes all over the place. Oh, ran into... Yeah, the down smash from Sheik was a bit overzealous, I have to say, but uh, it does result in Fox Grandpa losing the stock. Oh. The, uh, the lag on the needle uh, being thrown straight forward actually prevented the team combo from happening for red team. Two different ideas. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to try and 1v2 while Aklo recovers, but not quite. Uh, one big hit can really dictate this game. Yeah, it's basically even right now, and that will not kill. That would have been so crucial for them. If Aklo yeah. and Foxy got that kill. And Bonfire just kind of rolls into their space. Ends up getting punished for it. It looks... No! Just sends the foxes charging into each other. Both <laughs> die. <laughs> this has been a reoccurring theme this game where, like, the two foxes go down and the Sheiks are just chilling, like, waiting for the other one to, to lose their stock first. It's it's so refreshing seeing Sheik go for a bunch of different throws aside from down throw. Because I feel like in this matchup, conventionally, in singles, you'll mostly see down throw with the occasional attempted back throw cheese. But we've been seeing a lot of Sheik up throws here. Ooh, that was so clean. Wow, Aklo kind of just let that happen. I, I don't know. Probably didn't expect that outcome. Oh, that shine was really, really... That was an 11% shine. And a taunt? Ooh! What did they do to you? Little villainous. <laughs> All right, respect. They actually. just don't like Europeans. Oh, well... <laughs> you know. That's fair. <laughs> Very villainous behavior. They're just wall-teching, bouncing oh, off the wall. Goodbye, Aklo. You're going to get wrecked in the same way. They have to try and hold on to these two stocks for as long as possible. Foxy Grandpa off stage, but gets down. Yeah, the Aklo 1v1's Nikki while uh, Foxy Grandpa throws hitboxes at Bonfire has been kind of the name of the game. And, and it's, it's working. working out really well. Yeah. It's not a dominant lead by any means, but it's it's giving them slight advantages, which is very much making the difference. Nikki's got to make it oh, back Oh, Bonfire's stage. doing great here, though. This is definitely still winnable. They just need to get... Aklo off Good the luck. ledge. They can't do anything. Good luck. Invincible, invincible ledge stall. Oh, nice dash attack. They're preventing the back throw, uh, back throw up smash. Wow. This you is need to kill Aklo important. immediately, and they know that. And Aklo is playing on the back foot because he knows yeah. that if he dies, Foxy has over. to be the aggressor here, which is definitely not what they're used to, but it can definitely be done. Fox is definitely a capable player. Aklo shield is looking very small. Oh, just dash dancing outside of Nikki's range. Both are off stage. That tournament winner was risky, but it was needed to get Bonfire back onto the ledge without committing too much. Nikki off stage. Aklo and Foxy get the edge so guard. Clean. That game was so close. Yeah, that was dangerously close. Towards the end, if they had just gotten one more clean hit on Aklo, we would have seen probably a different result. Yeah, I agree. That was very clean. I actually really liked how Bonfire played that last game. Um, actually felt in the driver's seat in terms of like counter hits and trying to uh, prevent Nikki from getting completely destroyed in like team combos and stuff. Um, absolute just throwing herself into the situation and getting away with it a lot of the times. But the, the problem is still standing of 
how do we get past Foxy Grandpa while Aklo is just running all over the stage destroying him? And, um... Are they going Icy's? I don't think so. I hear characters being... It's Aklo. He could give us a link for fun, but I don't think we're getting fun I don't fun think today. we're getting a link. But I see that Bonfire and Mickey really are talking. I feel like... I don't even know what Link can do in teams. They're going back to FD? That's bold. Losing twice on the stage and going back to it a third time. I respect it so much. I respect it too. The, the games are competitive. So yes. it's like, I, I guess it's fair to try and, and go for it a third time. Maybe they feel like this is their highest chance of, of winning. Plus, they're, they have the experience trying it. So they're just trying to get a game on the board. Uh, maybe changing it up too much is, is actually a bad thing. I don't know. That's yeah, just especially when it's like almost working out. Right, right. Um, I like already. both of the foxes going for four throws to try to hit the other. Oh, oh no! No! I was about to talk about how. Why is that Kratani? What did he kill do? He's evil. <laughs> He's evil. <laughs> what is going on? Evil Aklo is scary. Nikki, Nikki told me because we were uh, after Giant Melee uh, top three, which he won Giant Melee by the way. Yeah. Um, he told me that there was like a German tournament happening later in the year, and that Aklo was signed up. It's like, I that's know, maybe interesting. He's, maybe he's trying to set something up for that. Oh, that Be makes a villain me happy. There too. Oh wait, hold on. I wasn't even looking at the right side of the stage. Foxy Grandpa just went crazy. Yeah, he is playing on fire right now. These jabs are so funny. Because you can actually oh. keep Bonfire in the shield here. And that was like so five head, actually. And the, the Sheik taunts too. They are playing with hatred in their hearts. Well, it's working, so. Nikki being down this much is kind of brutal for the game state. Bonfire's playing very well, but I don't think Bonfire's the target. I don't even think Nikki is playing poorly either. It's yeah. just Aklo and Foxy have both been able to get such quick kills. They're just targeting him, I think. Yeah. Because they're acknowledging that Bonfire is actually really good at, at holding space and, and staying alive. And also being a key disruptor. But look at this. Swatter away. Keep going back on Nikki. Just a neutral here, but Aklo is stuck between both of them. Positionally, oh, that would be bad. Power on Foxy Grandpa's part, and the running needle. Oh, uh, double kill! Into the up smash. This is looking insurmountable. Yeah, that's. It, these two could go down here in one hit, and it could be like a two to three, which is winnable. But um, they have to get a lot of leverage here. I'm kind of surprised they didn't ta uh, taunt there. Nah, I when think they were up like five stocks. Oh, to two. oh, she ran. Wait into a <laughs> second. We might have a game on our hands. Oh, that could have been right there. That Aklo getting shine there could have been a lot. Oh, that up air. Oh, great up. Bonfire is oh, playing with fire. lava. Yeah. Love it though. Oh, she tried to shield grab. Okay. Foxy's down smash. Nikki's not gonna die there, and they're just both bullying Bonfire here. Yeah. Nice Firefox to go for the save, Great but save. they really need to make something happen and here. And Aklo gets the up smash. Bonfire has to make the comeback of her life. This would be. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying, but that sadly, the other offers to do it. You just 3 out the money That's brutal. The taunt. That's brutal. That is brutal, though. I mean, if they they have earned that right. They kind yeah, of they're playing hot. 3-0. It was pretty close, though. I mean, that was the, the whole trope of the close 3-0, but all those games definitely were winnable. Yeah, they were completely winnable. I mean, one of them came down to uh, pretty much the wire. The wire. There, there was like a, a 2 v one where like someone made a mistake, and there was a lot going on, but... Uh, that is them advancing. Nikki and Bonfire out at fifth place. Um, coming up next, we have Project and Swedish up against Crudo and Panda. And this Panda. is actually going to be a banger. Absolute um, banger Pretty set. excited for this set. Uh, we actually... How much do we have to talk about? Because, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of Project. We, we already gushed about Project in yes. the last set. Uh, so, if you're just tuning in, so Machine. Uh, Kyle, but, Crudo, and Panda. Yeah. Both of these players from CFL... Grinders forever. They were always like mainstays on the yeah. CFLPR. For ages, never top 100. Crudo.